Part 1. Society Culture Which culture do you belong to? I was born and raised in America, where my culture was shaped. Is that a multicultural society? Yes, it is. My culture is a diverse mix of customs and traditions of various races and ethnicities. How long has your country been practicing those customs? Well, it has a long story. It has a long story around 10,000 years ago. What custom do you like the most? I like practicing dining etiquette. That's what makes me America whenever I travel to other, to other countries. What are traditional customs of men and women in your country? Cowboy hats and boots are American styles. But nowadays, jeans and t-shirts are more preferable. Are you comfortable with traditions and custom of your culture? Of course, I was born with it. How do people greet each other? Well, it depends on the situation. In an informal communication, people just say, say hi. Have you ever felt drowned to another land? Yes, I'm interested in Indian culture. I wish I can get there someday to attend a typical Indian wedding. Alberto's Terrible Neighbor Alberto took one look at his new neighbors and knew that his life was going to get more difficult. He watched them arrive in their big noisy car and watched them get out. There they were. Two of them, as big as and as noisy as they, their car, and smelly and stupid as well. Terrible, he thought. How am I going to put up with them? He went to tell Mimi. Mimi was the friend he lived with. Have you seen the new neighbors? He asked her. No, she said. Who are they? Two of them. The ones we don't like, big and noisy and stupid and smelly, just like they always are. Oh no, said Mimi, how awful. Still, I suppose we can we can just ignore them. I suppose you're right, agreed Alberto. Well, just have to ignore them. For a few days, then... Alberto and Mimi tried to ignore their new neighbors. When the neighbors went out for a walk, Alberto and Mimi didn't say hello to them. When the neighbors were, were in their garden, Alberto and Mimi went inside. This was okay for a few days, but perhaps inevitably things didn't say Things didn't stay this way. One day, Alberto woke up from his sleep to find one of the neighbors in his garden. Mimi, he shouted, have you seen this? He is in our garden. Look. How terrible, said Mimi. Let's call our staff and make sure they get rid of him immediately. Mimi went off to call their stuff. Two minutes later, Alberto and Mimi's hat of the of stuff was out in the garden trying to get rid of the unwelcome neighbor. Go on, he shouted. Get out of here. Go home. The neighbor didn't say anything, but gave Alberto and Mimi Mimi's hat of stuff a dirty look. Then, he went back into his garden. Alberto and Mimi felt better and then asked their head of stuff to prepare their lunch for them. However, it wasn't enough. Over the next few days, Alberto and Mimi often, often found one or other of 
or both of their new neighbors walking around their own garden. It was terrible to show how they felt. Alberto and Mimi went into their neighbor's garden at night when the neighbors were inside and broke all the flowers. The next morning, one of the neighbors came to talk to Alberto. Hey, he said. Hey, you. Alberto ignored him, but he continued talking. You came into our garden last night and broke all the flowers. Alberto didn't say anything but gave his neighbor a dirty look. Now I'm in trouble, continues, continued his neighbor. They think I did it. Who are they? Alberto asked. My owners, of course, replied the neighbors. Owners? said Alberto. You have owners? Course we do, said his neighbors. Don't you? Oh, no replied Alberto. We have staff. Alberto went to, ta- went to tell Mimi that the neighbors didn't have staff but owners. That's not a surprise, said Mimi. That, ex- that explains everything. That's why they, they are so noisy and smelly and stupid. We need to make their owners become staff. The next day, Alberto and Mimi were actually very friendly with their new neighbors. They tried to explain how to make their owners become staff. Listen, said Alberto to them. It's very easy. First, understand that the house is your house, not theirs. And second, said Mimi, make sure that you are always clean. Make sure they give you food whenever you want. Sit on the newspaper while they are reading it. Sleep as much as possible on their beds. And finally, try not to bark but to meow instead. But it was no good. The neighbors just didn't understand. After a week, They gave up. It's no good, said Nimi. They'll never understand. Dogs have owners. Cat have stuff. Part 3 Part 3 Answer the question correctly. First, what did the boy like best about the zoo? The porcupines. Porcupines. Second, what did the elephant? What did the elephant? Elephant do at the zoo? He or the elephant was eating and throw dirt on them. Third, what can we infer about the bird show? When on bird show, one bird was flight and the boy thought the bird was naughty. Fourth, Where did the boy see the butterflies? Inside a little building was made of glass. 5. The zoo Mikey, time for bed. Why? Why? It's getting dark out. Well, do you want to talk before you go to bed? Yeah. Uh, What do you want to talk about? Um, the zoo? The zoo. Oh, that was fun when we went to the zoo. What did you like best about the zoo? Um, the porcupines? They were big, weren't they? 
and what else? Yeah, what else do you remember? Mm, the two giraffes. The two giraffes and were they were they taller than me or shorter than me? Over your head. They were over my head. They were pretty tall. And what else do you remember? I remember didn't you see an eleven? Yeah. What about the eleven? Do you remember? Um what was he? Was he eating? Yeah, he was eating and then mommy said something happened with the elephant. That he did something? He threw dirt on us. He did? Oh, how did he do that? With his foot? No, with his trunk. And then you fed some ducks. What color were you were the ducks? White. And what other animals do you remember? Um wasn't there some type of show? Yeah, a bird show. A bird show? What did the birds do? Um flight. Oh they flew around one flight. Oh, one flew. Were they good birds? Yeah, were they naughty at all? One was naughty. What did it do? Um, did to think what you eat the the man what it could not not do. Hmm. Okay, and then. You saw some butterflies, didn't you? Yeah, what colors were they? After the bird show. After the bird show, you saw them. And where are the butterflies flying around all over the zoo? Uh, um, they are inside. They were inside. What? A little building? Yeah, what was the building made of? Was it made of wood? No. What was it made of glass? What was it made of? Glass. Oh, made of glass. And couldn't the butterflies fly out of the glass? No. No? Oh, what stopped them from flying out? Um, the air. On, oh, the air. Oh, there was air coming down. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, that's great. Well, it's time to go bed now. Sleep tight and don't let the bed bugs bite. Good night. Good night.